Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So as you can see, I am going to be decorating for fall today. I am so freaking excited. I'm not going to lie. I've kind of been putting this off until I had the motivation and the time to do this, but I decided today is the day. It is so nice outside. It's currently like, I actually don't know. September 3rd or 4th, maybe? <laughs> you know, I had wanted to decorate on September 1st, didn't get around to it, so here we are today. It's a gorgeous day out. The weather has been so nice this week, so I've got all of my windows open. I have a fall candle going. The vibes are vibing, okay? I brought my bins upstairs. This has, as you can see, all of like linens and pillows. The actual decor is down in this bin, so. I also brought up this box that has just kind of like extra home decor that doesn't have a home right now that I didn't really want to get rid of. So this is where I'm going to be putting away some things to make room for the fall decor. I've honestly had quite a decluttering itch lately, so you guys will be seeing some of those videos coming very, very soon. As I'm like putting away some stuff, I will kind of be decluttering, but it's really hard for me to get rid of home decor and like trinkets and things so we'll just see but this video is really just focused on me decorating for fall so we have a lot ahead of us honestly i think that's part of the reason i've been putting it off is this will kind of be a lot of work but i'm really excited i love halloween i love the fall time so so much and just having spooky decor is truly my element so Without further ado, let's go ahead and bust into these boxes. I have done a tiny bit of shopping for Halloween, but I haven't let myself buy too much because I'm like, I need to like see what I have and what I feel like I'm lacking before I like accidentally start buying duplicates or something. One of the things I bought recently, some crime scene tape. I'm gonna wrap this around my front door. My lights, I've been so excited to put my spooky lights back up. Oh no, not them being tangled. I have these orange ones. I really want to get some purple ones too, I think, which I do not, oh no. I do have some purple, what do you know? <laughs> now this is a mix of like some just regular fall stuff, which that stuff I will keep up through November and I usually like slowly start taking some of the actual Halloween stuff down. I feel like everybody thinks that fall is over as soon as Halloween's over and it's like, did we forget about Thanksgiving? I love Thanksgiving, but yeah. Okay, so I have a lot, a lot of pumpkins. My spooky flowers, more pumpkins. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this guy. I actually had wanted to keep him out all year long. I don't know why he got put away. I have also been so excited to put all of my mugs back up on my shelf in my kitchen. Got all these like, skulls as like little bowl fillers or just shelf sitters or whatever some garland oh yeah i have more of the bone taper candles a bloody candle i actually just got new dish towels these are cute i don't think i'll get rid of them i'm just kind of over the like yellow that's on them I don't know, maybe I actually will donate these. Like they're cute, but I've just had them for so many years and I do like the ones that I got this year way more. I have my Halloween banner, TBD if I'm gonna hang that up this year. More mugs and bowl fillers, spooky little guy. Of course you guys know I love getting to do my graveyard scene in my window. I do different themed fairy gardens for every season. Little plate. Why do I honestly, like, I'm really only feeling inclined to put up Halloween stuff. Like, I mean, of course I like the fall stuff, but I'm just not feeling the urge to put that stuff up yet. Oh, all my spooky socks. <laughs> oh, yes, I thrifted this last year. I don't know where I'm going to put it this year, but this Ouija board placemat. It's so freaking cool. This guy, I always hang on my back door. Spooky candles. I always get so many compliments on these hands that I got from Target a few years ago. At this point, probably like five or six years ago, actually. They just remind me of the hands from the Adams family. And then I do have some gauze. I left some of this up in my room actually all year long, but I'm gonna string 
this on my bookshelves and other shelving. Oh yeah, all of my bats to put on the walls. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, I have very... This to me, this, this, these, these just scream Thanksgiving to me. Honestly, if I don't quite feel like putting it out yet, I'll probably end up putting those few things in like a cabinet up here so that they're easily accessible. Some cutie little spiders, this glass jar. I'm definitely getting some ideas of how I want to switch things up this year already. More gauze, my candelabra, a few of my bigger guys. These two I got from my great grandma, the witches that go typically in the center of the graveyard scene, I think. We'll see though, we'll see. That's everything that I have decor wise. I know something that I really wanna get is, which I almost bought one at TJ Maxx, but I was just like, feel like I could find these somewhere else for cheaper and maybe even better, but they had these like cookie jar haunted houses and they were like $20, so not that bad, but you know, I'm a thrifty girl, I'm cheap. And they were just like so black that I felt like I wanted one with a little more detail to it, but if I don't find one thrifting soon, I might just like go back and buy those anyways. I have a house in my kitchen that holds like candy or like little treats in, and I wanna swap it out for a Halloween one. But other than that, honestly, I can't really think of like a ton of other stuff that I really wanna get, so. Okay, in this bin, I do have some Christmas stuff that I need to put to the side. I love my Ouija pillow, my Halloween blankie. Again, these two things are a little more Thanksgiving. I think Chris's mom got me these towels that have kitties on them. And then I also have this one. It's very Thanksgiving. Oh, Halloween PJs. I forgot I had those. I love this pumpkin that I got from Five Below. His color is just so good. And they have these again this year. Oh yes, all my spider webs. Am I gonna use spider webs this year? I don't know, we'll see. That's just so much work, honestly. Um, oh, these need to go out in my face outside. Or I might mix them in here, actually. <laughs> this is why I was so excited to pull out my garland of pumpkins. It's all tangled up. Another another pumpkin and more kitty little pillows <laughs> that's officially everything let's start pulling some things off of my shelves and whatnot to make some room for all of this stuff
Hey guys, so <laughs> it is like two weeks later. I have done so much and haven't filmed at all, which I'm so sorry, but I would just go to stores and get, you know, a few things here and there and then instantly put it up. I've been to Five Below, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, which I think I talked about those stores in the beginning of the vlog. And I only got a couple of things there. I went to Spirit back at the beginning of August when they first opened. And then I've also gone thrifting a few times as well, just to like get any sort of little knickknacks or small things that I could add to my space. And then I also have gone to like Target and Walmart. And a big thing that I didn't film for you guys was actually me decorating the outside of our apartment building, which is my first time ever putting decor outside. And it was so fun and looks so freaking cute the only reason i didn't film that was because i for one didn't want my whole neighborhood to see me filming myself since i could already see me decorating out there but for two i didn't want to give too much away about like where i live obviously so i will go ahead and insert a clip of what the decorations are looking like right now i did like a little graveyard scene in my front garden bed and it just looks so freaking cute. I got all of the headstones at Walmart and then I got the fencing from the dollar store actually. And all of the bones are also from Walmart as well. It was honestly super affordable. I think for all of the stuff outside, I spent, I don't know, maybe $30 max. And then my neighbors contributed to the other side, like their side of the building with the headstones and they added some cute little decals on our front door. I also got a few things out on the front porch as well. I put this like stack of skulls that are from Five Below and one of my little creepy dudes that I showed earlier in the video that I got from my great grandma. I'm so thankful that my neighbors are cool as fuck and are okay with me going all out and decorating, you know, our like more common areas and then i also decorated like our personal entryway in the back as well i did bats going up the wall and i got a new doormat at five below because i decided to put my fall one outside that says like happy fall y'all i did that in the front because it got damaged a little bit so i had to get a new one anyways so i decided to put a more spooky halloween one in our little entryway and then i hung that guy on the back of the door like i do every single year that was pretty much it for like our little back entryway i wanted to keep it kind of simple and not go too crazy out there everything else i've done inside you guys did see like the big majority of me decorating i've really just sprinkled a few more things in here and there as i've gone shopping like i said so i thought to end off this video i would give you guys a full tour and it is perfect because it's a rainy day it's a little gloomy, so it's a little dark in here. I've got all of my lights on, which just like adds to the ambiance of the fall decor. Ignore my giant pile of clothes that I need to list on Depop, but I actually really did not decorate here in our bedroom that much, but I did get this super cute blanket at Target, which is perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for for in here. And then I switched out our like doily type of blanket for a green one that I thrifted a while ago. My kitties are sleeping. They look like little plushies on the bed. <laughs> but I got that cat skeleton pillow at Five Below. And that pumpkin one is also from Five Below, but I got it last year. I would still love to get some like fall themed sheets. But if I don't get those, it's really not like the end of the world. I feel like that's doing a lot for real. But I think our bed just looks so cute and fall like now i got these guys at the dollar store this pumpkin is from the dollar store i got this cutie little orange mushroom pillow at walmart on top of this dresser i've got this skull and these tiny little pumpkins all from the dollar store another pumpkin on that side up on this shelf i have that skull from walmart more pumpkins from the dollar store and then i sprinkled some more pumpkins on top of this shelf as well and then lastly on my vanity mirror i did hang the skeleton garland i think these are from the dollar store i got them a few years ago and then i keep these up year round but i have a black a maroon and a bone taper candle 
on each side of my vanity here. That is pretty much it for the bedroom. Let's move on into the dining room and the kitchen. In the dining room, I kept it very simple. Really, all I did was I changed out my taper candle and dried flowers for this candelabrum. And then I've got fall scent wax melts in there, of course. But the kitty salt and pepper shakers and the bone are always there. So it was pretty much just the candelabra that I added here. And then over on this cabinet, I've got some cinnamon streusel muffins right now for Chris and... I got this little mushroom jar at Target for like five bucks. I already had this mushroom mug, so I added it here together because I just thought it looked really cute. Very fall colors over here. I feel like this always looks very cluttered, so this might change around a little bit, but that's what it's looking like for right now. In the kitchen, I added crime scene tape on our fridge. Just, I mean, that's very random, but I wanted to put it at least somewhere, and I do think it looks cool there. Up here, I hung the Halloween banner, which literally fits so perfect. You guys know I always decorate with mushroom and strawberry things, so those are just up all year round, but I feel like the mushrooms especially match very well for the fall. I talked about getting a different cookie jar house for right here. I have not gone back to, I think it was at Marshall's or no, Home Goods? I don't remember. It was at one of those type of stores. But I would still really love to go back and get that, but I just have my regular one out for now. And then I got this very cute little ghost soap dispenser at, I don't remember, is a tag on it? Marshalls for five bucks. Really good deal. And I like that it's reusable so that I can just put my own soap in there and keep using that every single year. These mushroom lights are always up, but my mom got those, I believe, from Joann's for me. And then my window is open right now, but I do have this little skeleton guy hanging in there. On our way into the bathroom, there is this shelf here, which I got that little book at the dollar store, that little hand at the dollar store, and that pumpkin at the dollar store. I thought those were some cute additions for this little shelf here. And then going into the bathroom. Hey, it has changed in here kind of a lot, honestly, since the last time I filmed in here for you guys. But I only sprinkled like three little Halloween things in here. So let me show you. I hung these shelves up to put some plants up there. And I just have that one spooky dude up there on that shelf. I ended up using these towels in the bathroom because I realized the yellow matches the tile really well. I did really want to get a spooky shower curtain, but I just didn't quite settle on one. I don't know, I might still get one similar with the sheets, but that is kind of doing a lot. And there was also some really cute bath mats at Target that I was very, very tempted to get. Again, maybe I'll go crazy, go back and get that. It was like, the one I wanted was a little black cat which I think would match this really well, so TBD. And then I got this little glass skull full of bath salts at Marshall's. That was also like five or six dollars. So that's everything that I have in the bathroom. Now we can go into the living room. Okay, moving into the living room. I added orange and purple lights on my TV stand. I have just a whole bunch of pumpkins on either side with dried flowers and my lanterns. And then of course my pumpkin garland right there across the front. From Spirit, I got this ghost face mask and then that Bates Motel sign, which does in fact turn on. Those two things are things I plan to keep up all year long. And then of course I didn't really change anything here, but I have mostly horror movies displayed on my TV stand as well, which really just like adds to the vibe. And I have both my lace and my spider web table runners with my little spiders too. So freaking cute. I always love decorating this whole area every year. For the coffee table, I really switched this up this year. I always have this white doily on my coffee table and then I layered this black gauze. And then I just put a couple of pumpkins, my little black candlestick holder hands, and then my little witches that are in a circle. I put in this little tray that I had thrifted years and years ago. And I just put all the little bowl filler skulls around there. And then I have the bloody taper candle sticking out of the middle. On the couch in here, I have my Ouija pillow and my skull pillow. And then on the chair, I have a little acorn pillow that I also got from Walmart and that bat pillow. And then of course I draped my Halloween blanket. And then I did the Ouija placemat on this little side table like I did last year. 
just with a glass pumpkin and a taper candle. You guys also saw me decorate this little shelf, which I did change around a few times, but I love where it ended up. I have two tall taper candles up there, and then my little clown, my little doll head, other little figures with the pumpkins. I can't wait to get our AC unit out because it's so ugly and it'll look so much cuter over here when that's not there, but... It's unfortunately still very warm out here in Missouri. The biggest thing in here is our bookshelves, which I got some colored lights for. I think I got those at Walmart. I love that they're like purple, orange, and green. I honestly didn't really add too much like spooky decor in here. Obviously, I did the black gauze and the spider webs up top. And then I just have like a few little spooky guys tucked in random places, lots of Snoopies. I did just thrift that Snoopy, which I think is so freaking cute. And then I have a pumpkin tucked in there, some dried flowers that are orange, so they're really good for fall. And then that spooky dude for my great grandma. And then moving over here, of course, we have my graveyard scene. This turned out very cute, honestly. It's pretty simple, I think, compared to last year's, but I do still really love it. That is officially everything that I did. I do think that we will add a little bit more around the house. I know for sure we would love to go to a pumpkin patch and get some pumpkins for the front porch and probably some for like our balcony too. I didn't really decorate our balcony at all, but I am going to need to bring all of our plants in soon, which makes me kind of sad. It's going to look so bare out there, but uh, you know... I'm honestly just trying to keep them out there as long as humanly possible because they do so much better outside. I don't know. I had considered like putting some crime scene tape around our balcony and throwing like my LED ghost light out there. Oh, but I did put a purple light bulb out there, which is so freaking nice to give us some light without it being like freaking blindingly bright out there. I really didn't want to go like too insanely crazy with spending money on decor. I do want to just gradually build my decor over time and that makes it fun you know each year that fall comes around I get to go and just try to find some more things thrifting or just out at like whatever stores I end up going to so I'm like already excited for next year honestly because then I think I can focus on getting more for like our balcony and even more for like outside and just other little trinkets and things but overall I'm really freaking happy with how it turned out I feel like there's a good amount of spooky everywhere throughout my house. It just feels so cozy and so cute. I love fall. I love Halloween decor so, so much. It just feels like my element. So anyways, that was everything though. I don't want to keep yapping on forever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me decorate for fall and hopefully it gave you guys some inspiration to decorate your own space. It's never too early. We're actually going on vacation this weekend for a week, so I will be vlogging that trip as much as I can for you guys. I know I didn't get a birthday vlog up. I'm so sorry. I didn't film anything. I literally did not film anything, <laughs> but I promise I will try my best to get lots of good clips for you from our vacation, and then I'm planning some nice cozy fall vlogs, so make sure you subscribe so you can see my future videos. Follow me on my other socials. They're always linked down below, and I will see you guys very soon. I love you so much. Bye.